be equals to a random, sorry, to uh, Europe data, sorry, uh, random, uh, a random number between zero and Europe data length minus one. And the, the, the program will complain because random returns a floating point number. So we have to do a parse int. I'll comment this one for you to see in the, the commented file. And now it will give us a crazy motherfucking graphic. <laughs> and so it, it's just doing random targets. Whenever it's drawing, it's still drawing the data sets. And it's, it looks like a, a, a it looks like a, 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 I don't know, a dynamic graph. I don't know like a people's graph or something. It's just doing lines, crazy connections. So I'll just leave the random over here for you to explore uh, because Tiago was saying he loved the, the error. So sometimes we produce weird stuff and uh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, Roberto is, is also asking for a uh, uh, VJ data viewer, Tiago. <laughs> you are commenting the movie graphics of the Ah. Yes, and, and you are, and, and you will. Uh, yeah, you can actually. There's a trick if you use my because these 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 sketches are all are all public. If you go, if you just erase the the, the URL and go back to Pedamado, you can actually see everything. So the sketches should be. This is the most okay. I can show you this. Uh, moving not moving just just this one this is a simple one with with lines it it all started with this one if we copy this one and if you see this one pj data viewer <laughs> if you see this one it's it's just it's the same trick with a with a cool wedge with a cool twist so it's it's the same it's it's always the same stuff guys doing a I'm just moving the ball between the points. Of course, there's more advanced tricks, but as I've told you, the difference between the first hour of the code and this hour is that the number of functions you know that exist in processing, okay? So I'm still using the same basic loop uh, cycle and condition drawing, just using a few other tricks. So this one is a simple one. And if you go... Uh, And if yeah, well, the thing we used in the in the in the promotion of the workshop uh, was this one. I, I think I have to do share. So sorry, I think I have to do share. Probably we used in the promotion of the workshop was this one. So it's always the same thing. Instead of using one line, we're using a lot of lines. So now with Zoom connected, it's kind of slow. But yeah. It's the same. It's the same trick. Okay, just lines, and randomly, if randomly, draw a point, and it just does this. Okay, very slow. And yeah, the final one I posted. I posted in on Instagram. Uh, the final one wasn't used for the promotion, but it was used. Uh, this is the coolest one. This I just had fun with this. If you follow, uh, there's a, a really cool thing going on. It's called January. Um, January. If you just look for this January on Instagram, there's a challenge, a 30-day challenge that's going on, on on Instagram. Just follow this hashtag or January 2013, 2020, January 2023, and you see crazy people doing crazy stuff. And if you if you're not inspired, I don't I don't know what can inspire you. So this was the final one using the same trick always the same trick and suddenly yeah you do offsets and you do scales i'm just do, using the same tricks that i showed you i'm just doing um well i'm doing a random mountain but we could do, use this with real graphs instead of using just one i'm using several ones piled up and i'm just offsetting all the mountains at the same time it looks like i don't know it looks like a race to me but yeah well I don't know. Everything I use in this one, and you can check out my sketches if you want to. Um, all the uh, user sketches usually are public, so you can actually dive into them. Don't expect it to be <laughs> very commented because it's not very commented. 
um, but the tricks are the same, okay? So there's no actual um, news. Stefan, Pedro, quick question. If we make a vector illustration, let's say an illustration, can we play the SVG code? Okay, this one I forgot to, to show you. Okay, let, uh, let me try really fast. Um, it, it, you shouldn't paste the vector, you shouldn't paste the code, you should use the SVG. Uh, I forgot to check this out. Um, I guess you can use an SVG, you can use and load the image. I guess you can use this because this is basic URL, basic, basic um, HTML. So let me just, um, on setup, let me just check if this preload. Uh, let me just check if this works. Uh, you shouldn't use the, the full SVG code, I, I, I guess. If you can use it in, in JavaScript, and you can. You can use it here. Um, let's just create a folder, assets, and I have to find an SVG file, SVG file on my computer. Um, SVG file. Um, oh, I can use the logo. Okay, I guess I already saw this one earlier. Let me just load it here. Uh, okay, let me just check if this works. Mm. Copy. Um, and you just load it. And uh, probably what you want to know is if you want if you can dive into the object itself. I would have to to see this one in detail. Uh, 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 I have no clue. I have to check it as, this out. Uh, P5.js SVG. Can I, Pedro? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, please. My my question was actually, you were using dots and lines, right? And yeah. animating them. Yeah. Um, instead of using um, dots and lines as the base of your, your animation, can you use uh, an illustration and then yeah. Um, make the the vectors move. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, that 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 thing I'm not sure. Uh, that was that was I uh, theoretically yes, but probably you have to to use vanilla JavaScript. Okay, I would have to dive into that question because p5.js is actually JavaScript. So everything you can do in JavaScript, you can do in p5.js, but. I would have to see. Uh, I forgot. I forgot to see. Uh, natively, it doesn't do. But like you're, you're going to see Rodrigo do on Friday. Rodrigo is going to load a library to do specific stuff easy easier. Mm -hmm. And I would I would go into here the reference, and I would go into libraries, and I would check out SVG, and it doesn't seem to have an SVG library. Uh, Yeah, uh, Stefan, I can I can try to search it later tonight or tomorrow morning, and I will leave it and I will send it to Bruno, or I will send it uh, because you're probably not from this this the the specialization program. Um, yes, yes, it is. Stefan is okay. Maybe then I can send it to Bruno and it'll share with you. I will try to figure this one out uh, because I had several issues using uh, because SVGs are done in layers and you can actually fetch the layer. And you can actually switch off the, the the properties, the graphical properties. But I had several issues with accessing individual layers in SVG files, and I've I I've, I've did responsive illustrations by turning off visibility of layers with JavaScript. I've never moved vectors, but I guess you could do it. But you have to you have to break down the SVG into the components, into each layer, and then go mm -hmm. into each layer and move each node. Uh, theoretically, I think it's possible. Uh, 
but I've never done it. Sorry, Stefan. Uh, okay. My, 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 actually, my... Uh, if you, when you were scrolling, uh, there was something about Bezier. Yeah, this one is really cool. Uh, this one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so but this. It's not related. Uh, I I think there's a there's a, a really cool uh, library that allows you to break fonts into Bezier's, and this one should be. Okay. Yeah, this one just creates a new Bezier. I haven't shown this yet, but you can actually do it by hand. That one is easier, but you can do it by hand here uh, using shapes, um, using, uh, yeah, using Bezier. You can actually, this is a, an object. That one seems easier, but this is actually core from, from processing in P5.js. Yeah, okay. Uh, Stefan, I'll, I'll, I'll promise you I'll try to dive, in, dive into it and see how to it's, okay. it's possible to break a, a, an SVG inside p5.js. But I, my guess would be to go into, there would have to be a library to do that, okay? Uh, because usually there is. <laughs> That's the fun part of, of, of using this eco ecosystem is that it's very, very big and it has a lot of stuff. So... Uh, my answer to this is I don't know, but I most certainly 90% possibility that it's possible to do. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah. Bem, now, espero, por, uh, em tão pouco tempo teres coberto isto tudo. <laughs> Opa, uh, não, obrigado pelo desafio. Foi, foi, foi um, um. Nunca fiz isto tão rápido e peço desculpa se. Fica um conselho. Eu sei que esta coisa, eu queria explicar os, array, os arrays com as variáveis para poder partir isto em simples, complexo e objeto, mas também sei, I also know, sorry guys, I also know that today it was very, very intense. I usually break this into several sessions. We went from simple variable to array, to like a collection of variables, and then to a full object. That's an object that can have strings, numbers, and arrays of stuff. So the objects are really, really complex, but the, the thing is that when you want to do visualization for the web, I would guess 90% of the cases, even if not more, are done with JSON objects that have this kind of complexities. So I tried to give you a real example what you would get from an API to do visualization. An API, from, for example, from a wearable or from a, an online API. Uh, so I hope this. I will comment the file later, and I'll send it to Bruno, and I'll share it with the, you. Have the you have the links for for the for the for the collection, and I'll I will uh, uh, I will I will um, I'll update the collection link later. So the collection is over there. I can post it again over here. My collections and here. Okay. And later tonight or tomorrow morning, I'll update this collection with the commented code. So you can find the, co the collection, the commented code. Uh, I will try to order it again and I'll leave everything um, uh, organized uh, for you to just use the code. Hopefully, you'll just use the final code to do everything I, I expect. Eddie is, um, is asking if there's a link to watch the class again. I, Bruno will. will um, is uh, recording the class and he will share the the class with everyone later and i can also i can also i don't know if it's uh, only for uh, up repository but i think it's it's public maybe we can share it again and i can i can paste it on my youtube channel also uh, yes. and, or later we can ask uh, margarita from the i2ids to put it on the on the on the i2ids although it's i don't think it's that much relevant to the to research units, but we can we can share a link to, with, with the with the recordings later, Eddie. And that's the whole point of it. Yes, yes. Uh, I already shared the 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 first session uh, in Teams to the Interaction Design students, but I yeah. also, of course, can share with all of us. I, I can I can I can paste the link in the I can paste the link in the event right so whoever has registered they will have access to the to the recordings. That's I can it's fine. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Okay. So guys, if you have any question, try to try to understand this code, how to place stuff, 
coming from numbers, how to play stuff on screen before Friday. And I'll leave the commented code on the collection because Rodrigo will pick up from this placing stuff on screen and then loading a library to make, make it bounce or make it animate or make it collide. Um, I, I guess it will be, I, I hope it will be fun. I'll, I'll, I don't know if I'll arrive on time on Friday, but I, I most certainly will be attending, even if I'm attending from my mobile phone in the in the in the car, um, because I really want to see how Rodrigo will do it. Because I'm very curious how he'll pick this up and make things move. Okay, thank you, Pedro, once again, Rodrigo. Yeah. Uh, Rodrigo Asaf. Uh, no, no, I don't know if you want to go. Yeah, I don't think it's this? worth like we have only five minutes and connections and stuff like that. Yeah, maybe we, we, we can do this on Friday. Okay. No, it's we'll... not it's not worthy. Okay. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, não, não, valeu, Pedro. Foi foi ótimo, pelo menos na, na minha perspectiva. Foi excelente. So then I will once again, uh, now related to the students of interaction design, uh, share the video um um in teams and also the well the the sketches the 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 uh upgraded uh by by pedro okay so we will see you uh on friday okay thank you all Obrigado, Toch. thank you all Obrigado. see you later and don't forget for the guys who don't come friday there's more workshops and there's a full thing day 14th of February, okay. If you, if we if you drop out, don't drop out, please. <laughs> please make sure to join us on the next activities. It's all free and available online uh, or in person as well. Yes, yes. Deus Pedro, obrigado. Deus obrigado. Yeah. Desculpa, yeah. Stefano. Vou tentar resolver isso. Sem problema. Obrigado. Obrigado. Tudo bom.